Hello everyone, welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are going to talk about an astronomical telescope. We are further going to talk about a simplest way of using astronomical telescope called as relaxed eye position. We will explain what do you mean by this relaxed eye position after a small time, right? So first of all, it's a telescope which is used to see the objects that are quite far, celestial objects that are in the sky, astronomical objects. That's why it is called like an astronomical telescope. The very big thing that we need to know is being the objects are very large, but quite far from the telescope, we shall have a field lens we shall be having a higher field view that is higher focal length that's why in the case of this astronomical telescope the focal length of the field lens is obviously very large so let us consider this as a principal axis i won't be able to see the object in the diagram because we are assuming an astronomical body that is at quite far. Being the object is quite far, the light rays coming from the object will be parallel light rays. So, these are the light rays. Object is not visible in the diagram. Being the object is at infinitely longer distance, this light rays will come and converge at the focal length of the field lens. So, where do they get converge? This value is nothing but equal to f o here an image is formed having a height h this image is going to act like a object for the other lens called as something like i lens this is what our i lens is let the focal length of this i lens is f e now this I lens can be adjusted, its position can be changed in such a way that this image of the field lens is going to act like an object for I lens. For the simplicity's sake, for a relaxed eye position, let us assume that this is the object of this I lens, which can be called like UE, is kept at the focal length of that I lens itself. Being the object is at the principal focus its image will be going to be at a infinity. So the light rays will go like this. You will further go. So I can see an extended image at infinity by extending this light rays in a reverse direction. So what's the thing that you might have noticed in the diagram is you won't be able to see either the original object in the diagram or the final image in the diagram. Both of them are not at all visible in the diagram then how much the image is magnified we want to calculate. If the object makes an angle alpha at the origin, image makes an angle beta at the origin, then we can write magnification of this astronomical telescope is tan beta by tan alpha. Tan beta is obviously this opposite side by this distance that is h by f e. Tan alpha is for that also this is the opposite side. This is the adjacent side h by f o. So the magnification of a astronomical telescope when the final image is formed at infinity is f o by f e. That's why for the other way also f o has to be much greater than f e. Therefore, I can get actually some magnification. As the final image is at infinity, your eye won't get strained. I is quite relaxed. That's why people call this position as relaxed eye position. 
in the relaxed eye position you will be able to see the image in a relaxed way but your magnification is compromised you are not going to get a better magnification in a non relaxed eye or a strained eye how do we get a better magnification that i will explain in the next uh, video lesson within this video lesson what is the length of the compound microscope if somebody asks which is the physical length distance between these two lenses i can say magnif magnitude of the field lens and the magnitude of the eye lens is the length of the compound micros astronomical telescope so this astronomical telescope gives you a magnification your eyes are in a quite relaxed position in a given state of the condition we have taken we won't be able to see the final image in the diagram because these light rays are actually extended in the inverse direction at infinity our eye will be able to see it but you won't be able to see it in the diagram neither the original object nor the final image is seen in the picture this is how an astronomical telescope works in a relaxed eye position in a separate video to make it short we will discuss about astronomical telescope but in a strained eye position thank you for watching keep coming back for more and more video lessons thank you